Now, the possible abuse of taxpayer funds is what caused a group of citizens to gather at the law enforcement center today and call for the sheriff's resignation. Yeah, in the video here, you can see them gathered. However, some people in this group say they came out to stand with victims of sexual abuse. Our Aaron Rogers is live at the Greenville County Law Enforcement Center right now. And Aaron, I know you had a chance to talk to some of the people who say these allegations that have been made regarding the sheriff brought up some really bad personal memories for them. I did. And I also talked to the Julie Valentine Center. They told me they have a long standing relationship with the sheriff's office, but that they do not support nor condone the behaviors alleged against the sheriff. There are zero validity to any criminal allegations in this rape, harassment, drugging, anything, nothing. Yesterday, Sheriff and Will Lewis came out dispelling any claims made in this 40 page lawsuit on behalf of Savannah neighbors. In it, details of how neighbors remembers regaining consciousness as the sheriff was on top of her having sex. Neighbors' attorney told us, We have faith in the process. But for some people, watching this investigation play out, it's brought back suppressed memories. Maybe triggering um, to some people, and they may see reflections of their own story in the stories that are being shared. Like Adelia Nick. Personally, I've been dealing with my past this entire week. The Julie Valentine Center says abuse in the workplace is not uncommon. I guess I have to do this to keep my job. Jamika Nedwards with the center says they see he said, she said stories often. What makes it hard to investigate these crimes is it is oftentimes one person's word against the other. The center says they're there to support and believe the victim. When you deal with crimes that are burglary or murder, there's usually some physical evidence that is left behind. And, and many times that's not the case uh, for sexual assault or child abuse victims. It's a crime that is against the soul and the spirit oftentimes and the mind. The Julie Valentine Center does have a 24-hour hotline available for any victim of sexual abuse. You can find that number online at WSPA.com. Live in Greenville today, I'm Erin Rogers, 7 News. And Erin, there are so many uh, things that come up with women who try to report abuse, or men too for that matter. Uh, complications, factors uh, that, that lead to consequences that they may not have intended. Like when you look at comments, for example, with the sheriff's case. Yes, Amy, I talked to people at Julie Valentine today. They said uh, they've heard this week a lot that this has been kind of painful for a lot of the people who visit their center. They say one of the worst things is looking at those comments online because they say that the comments are exactly why people do not come forward. Almost everything you can think of as to why a victim wouldn't come forward is what people have been saying in relation to this case. So it has been pretty difficult for those people, Amy. And in fact, do they advise people not to read the comments? I would guess that that would be the case. They do. They do. Just like in yeah, our job, sense. Amy. They do. Yeah, really. Good point. Thanks, Aaron. Well,